A surprise 50th birthday celebration ended in quite a knockout, literally. Yeah, a former NYPD officer still recovering after being attacked in, in a bar for what he was wearing. Daniel Sprague joining us this morning to share his story. Good morning to you. We could see the bruise on the left-hand side of your Ooh. face there, a little bit of a bruised eye. So explain to what exactly happened. You were celebrating your 50th birthday, and you were wearing this hat. Yes. It says make 50 great again, although some people might see it at a distance and think it's the make America great again. Is, yes. is that kind of what prompted this? That's what we're assuming because um, that that weekend I went down there with my wife and it was just supposed to be us for our 50th. To anniversary, Nashville. Uh, 50, my 50th birthday to Nashville. And she surprised me with my friends coming in. So she bought me the hat and the shirt and everything. The shirt said, making America great since 1970, the year I was born. It was a black shirt with an American flag. And in the afternoon, we met up with a bunch of my friends who made it in at that point. And we all went out to eat and do different things. And then we were hanging out in this one bar, listening to all mm -hmm. the country music. And people all day long were, you know, looking at the hat, liking it. Some, you could see, didn't really like it because of the distance. But when they got closer, they saw that it was Make 50 Great. And they'd walk by and say, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was all nice. You know, everybody So what was happened? Great. How'd you get hit? So as the night was going on, and like I said, people all saying it, you know, we're all about the place and I'm, I get grabbed, which I was getting grabbed because we were with everybody. Hey, talk to this, take a picture, do things like that. So I was in the middle of a conversation with somebody and when I was getting spun around, I'm finishing my sentence and as I start turning around, I wind up getting punched in the face by this lady that I don't recall ever seeing her at all in the bar. She was behind me. And so you had no conversation <clears throat> with her prior? No. Not, not, so you're saying yeah. this is totally unprovoked? Uh, totally. Just and turned around and hit me. Did and she say anything after? She was grabbing my hat as she was hitting me, and then she was just yelling, how dare you, how dare you. And so it would, I would assume, and she's holding the hat like that, that, you know, she didn't like the hat, and she either didn't take the time to read it or, you know, I have no mm. idea, you know. But you reported it to police. What did they do? Yes, well, the, the security in the, the bar was right on top of it, separated us. They took me towards the back, and then they took her to the front. And I, I told them that I want the police here, and, you know, I'm going to press charges on her. Mm -hmm. And they informed me that she was gone. So, you know, we, we did call the police. We were waiting. It must have been a busy night. And I decided I would just uh, go in the morning and make the report. So I, you know, made the report in the morning. So I want to point out, you, you are, in fact, a President Trump supporter. Yes, I am. Yes. Um, and what did, what's the takeaway then from this? You, you, you know, you were obviously saying that you were injured in all of this, but that you should be able to have conversations and difference of opinions with people and without having you violence, wear, right? Yes. I mean, you know, I was not the Trump. I'm, I'm an avid Trump supporter from the day he came down the mm -hmm. escalator. I always said he was going to be the guy. I knew day one if I was, you know, I could have made money if I betted on it. Yep. You know, but. I, I knew that, that, you know, the hat was a great slogan and all that, but I also knew it was, it was creating problems, but I didn't think that I should not wear it because of that. But I just never went out and bought one. When my wife gave me this, I thought this was great. What a, what a nice parody on it, a play on words. Mm -hmm. And obviously a lot of people didn't, did like it. So by this happening, it just, it just, you know, there's no conversation. There's no ability. You know, I wore the hat for the rest of the weekend. I, you know, it empowered me in that aspect. Mm -hmm. It wasn't going to make me, you know, hide that I'm, I turned 50. Unless they right. was offensive about that. Maybe she's 49, you know, and she's, her birthday's coming up. But, <laughs> but the, 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 when later on that weekend, there was a, a two couples, African-American, coming towards me. And I could see that they saw the hat and the girls showed that they they weren't too happy with it. When they got close, they read it and they wished me happy birthday. Right. I actually leaned in, I was talking to them, I said, thank you. I said, but I said, you didn't like the hat. No, I thought it was the other hat. And I was like, but I said, what was wrong with the other hat? She's like, it's offensive. And I was, and she goes, you really should take it off. I said, well, last night, I said, thank you for you know saying happy birthday. Last night, a girl punched me in the face on it. She expressed that that was uncalled mm -hmm. uncall for and you know, should never happen. But as she, was, as she was doing, that's why you should take that hat off because of that. And I said, but why? It's offensive. And back and forth, offensive, offensive. She couldn't give me a reason why it's offensive. She just stuck with the word offensive. So she went about her night. We, we were hanging out, having a great time. As she's leaving, I just said, hey, enjoy the rest of your weekend mm -hmm. and all this. She goes, oh, I really just wish you'd take the hat off. So I said, why again? She says, offensive. I said, but you can't give me a reason. If you gave me a reason, even if I disagreed with your reason, if you were able to change the word from offensive and explain it, 
I would have taken the hat off because I wouldn't have wanted to make you that. Right. So nobody wants to have a conversation. They want so to go. So that's what on, you want to do with this. You want to share go, it so people can have those conversations. Well, I want to. I want to. A yes, that people can get a conversation going, and you you don't have to agree with people. You can have that debate and argue and walk away like, hey, I agree to disagree. Right. You know, or I also want this girl to be found, and I'm hoping that det detectives are getting closer to do it, so that we can show that you're not going to get away with it anymore. There's no surveillance in the... There is, there okay. is. They, they should be going through all okay. that. All right. All right, Daniel, thank you for coming in and sharing your story with we us. We appreciate it. it. Thank you. Hope you, you know, that, that shiner gets cleared up pretty quickly, yeah. right? Yeah, Just, yeah you got Said some Vaseline on it. He probably needed stitches, but he's, he's going to tough this one out. Mm. All right, thanks yes. for being with us.